The table below shows the frequency distribution of the weights in grams of pre-1964 quarters. So we're given the weights here in grams and the frequency. And we want to create a histogram. Now, really, this is going to end up looking, you're going to end up selecting a bar chart in StatCrunch. So you can either on this one kind of eyeball where these, these go, or in StatCrunch, I want to show you how to pull this in. Okay, we're in StatCrunch, so I'm going to create a graph. So graph, you think you get a histogram, but histogram, when you select this, this is only going to work with raw data. And we don't have raw data, we have summary data. So I need to cancel out of that. And I'm going to go to graph. It's a bar chart with summary data. So with summary, the categories are in the weight, and the counts are in the frequency. We're going to ignore the where clause here. And for type, you can either do frequency or relative frequency. They both give you the same shape. So we'll just keep it at frequency. And if you want to display the values above the bars, you can. Probably not need to here since we already have them in the table. You can give labels and so forth. We'll just leave everything as the default. We're just kind of looking at the basic shape. And click Compute. And here we go. Now it would be nice if StatCrunch had a way to adjust the gap in between here, because this is a bar graph. And really, we don't want this gap to be in here. But with this software, this is all our only choice. So I'm going to come down here and see which one does this look like the most. So again, we're just kind of looking at the shape. And so we see it peaks here and then has a step down. So we know it can't be this first one. It looks like it could be B. We've got a peak and step down. But what a, what's another distinguishing characteristic we have? Here we're at 5, but we can see our first bin here is less than two is one so must be this one and it does resemble that quite a bit so that's the one I'm gonna pick looks like we did pretty good there and then we are asked the follow-up question so make sure you answer these follow-up questions does the histogram appear to depict data that have a normal distribution and recall the, these are sort of bell-shaped uh, distributions and yes it does it you're never going to get perfect so you want to have a give a little bit of grace to these um, these are all I would consider all these from bell shaped ones and so it looks like it's going to be C right so um, the frequencies increase to a maximum and then decrease and it's roughly symmetric it's not D where it says they decrease to a minimum and then increase so it'd be C